the reason why we're interested in creating a human copy is uh, is that it's just you know something that would expand our idea of um, existency. It's um, it's a dream, and to many, perhaps also a nightmare. Um, it's uh, it's something that can go terribly wrong, and actually, we also in a sense, coded uh, by popular culture and science fiction um, to believe that robots or the human copy will eventually uh, come and get us and take their revenge. What's characteristic for this uh, genre is that we actually uh, tend to believe that these uh, sculptures are actually real and they're real humans. And we expect them to uh, open their eyes or start moving or start talking to us at any minute. But um, they're not going to do that. But what we would like to do is to have our guests feel that uh, uncanny presence of their bodies in a space where um, you can uh, find yourself thinking about the difference between you and them. What is uh, the definition of a living person? What defines man? And what uh, defines um, the artificial and the, the real? The major difference between uh, the pieces here uh, in the exhibition and uh, an exhibition at Madame Tussauds is uh, actually not something that you can see with your eye because it's um, to in some extent the same technique that the artists use. Um, however, what's relevant here is that there's always a concept and a message in terms of how we define life and what kind of existence we want to live in. The reason why we chose to call this exhibition Gosh, Is It Alive? is that we actually think that this is one of the core uh, um, effects of the, the pieces here. They make us doubt and they make us, uh, they, they astonish us and they make us wonder. And it's connected to a classic uh, art historical uh, effect in the, in the Baroque where the artist worked to get uh, a moment of wonder present in their pieces. And that moment of wonder is also what we are, we're playing on in the title. <laughs> 